G'day everyone and welcome back to Fishing Denny. Back in April and May when I was fishing for Murray Cod, I was using a bait sock. So, and I had a video at the end of May that actually showed how I actually prepare the cheese in the bait sock. It's the most watched video I've had, but it's also been the most commented on. And not all good. Uh, so I did a bit of research. Uh, people were worried that the fish were swallowing the bait sock and it could kill them. So I got in contact with the company which is called Fishing First and I have actually got an email reply from the Australian sales director I guess is what his title is called. And I've been assured that the bait sock is actually biodegradable. It's water soluble and based on which size and thickness you buy is how long it actually lasts in the water. Um, I've also been told that they're going to send me three different samples, so <laughs> that's good. Uh, they have a feeder sock, and the feeder sock is one that you use for carp and catfish. Don't have to worry about the catfish around here, but we do have plenty of carp. And uh, you put your bait in that, attach it to your line, and within 10 minutes the, the sock actually dissolves and the bait goes out and it's, it's used to attract the fish. Uh, so the one that I'm using, I'm told, is, is the thickest. And what happens with this one is it takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours to dissolve. And that's all based on water temperature. So the warmer the water is, the quicker it will dissolve. So I'm hoping this this clears up any confusion about the bait sock um, and I recommend you go out and use it because I have caught a lot more cod using this than I have without it. And coming up, I'm going to be doing a video on an item I purchased online. After seeing several infomercials about this product, I thought, oh, what the heck. It was a deal I couldn't pass up. I got two of them for 20 bucks. So, and what it is, it's a rod holder, goes into the ground, you set it, the rod goes in here, it's clipped in, the fishing line goes around the little trigger here, and when you get a bite, it sets the hook. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to work, it seems like it might be a little harsh, so, but we're going to give it a go, <laughs> and uh, we're going to do a product, product review on this. So, stay tuned for future videos. And until then, keep fishing. 